Hello, my friends. Welcome to Coco Farm, where today we embark on an exciting journey through the world of cocoa, from the lush plantations to the final delectable product, chocolate. In this documentary, we will explore the fascinating process of cocoa fruit harvesting, cocoa bean processing, and the intricate steps taken in factories to produce the chocolate we all love. Additionally, we will discuss the cultivation, care, harvesting, processing, and export statistics for 2023. Cocoa cultivation begins with the careful selection of the right variety of cocoa trees. The most commonly grown species is Theobroma cacao, which thrives in tropical climates within 20 degrees of the equator. The cultivation process starts with planting cocoa seeds in nurseries, where they are nurtured until they are strong enough to be transplanted to the main plantation. Cocoa trees require rich, well-drained soils and regular rainfall to flourish. Farmers often plant shade trees alongside cocoa plants to protect them from direct sunlight and maintain the right humidity levels. These shade trees also contribute to the biodiversity of the plantation, promoting a healthier ecosystem. Once transplanted, cocoa trees need consistent care, which includes regular pruning to remove dead or diseased branches, mulching to retain soil moisture, and applying organic fertilizers to enrich the soil. Pest and disease management is crucial, as cocoa trees are susceptible to various pests, such as cocoa pod borers and diseases like black pod disease. Integrated pest management practices are often employed to minimize the use of chemical pesticides, promoting a more sustainable farming approach. The journey of a cocoa tree from seedling to maturity is a process that takes several years. After about three to five years, the trees begin to bear fruit. The flowers of the cocoa tree, which grow directly on the trunk and branches, are pollinated by tiny insects known as midges. Once pollinated, these flowers develop into cocoa pods. Cocoa fruits, or pods, take about five to six months to mature after pollination. The color of the pods varies depending on the variety of the cocoa tree, ranging from green to yellow to reddish hues. Harvesting typically occurs twice a year during the main and mid crop seasons. Farmers use sharp machetes to cut the ripe pods from the trees, ensuring they do not damage the branches, which would affect future yields. The timing of the harvest is crucial, as overripe pods can lead to poor quality beans. Once harvested, the pods are gathered and opened to extract the precious cocoa beans. Each pod contains 20 to 50 beans, encased in a sweet white pulp. The beans and pulp are scooped out and placed in containers for the next crucial step, arm and placed in containers for the next crucial step. Fermentation is a vital process that develops the beans flavor. The extracted beans and pulp are placed in shallow wooden boxes or baskets and covered with banana leaves. Fermentation usually lasts for five to seven days, during which the pulp liquefies and the beans undergo biochemical changes. These changes are essential for developing the beans' characteristic chocolate flavor. After fermentation, the beans are spread out under the sun to dry. This drying process can take one to two weeks, depending on weather conditions. During drying, the beans are regularly turned to ensure even drying and prevent mold growth. Properly dried beans will have a moisture content of about 7%, making them ready for the next stage processing. 
The dried cocoa beans are then cleaned and roasted to enhance their flavor and aroma. Roasting temperatures and times vary depending on the desired flavor profile, but typically, beans are roasted at temperatures between 250 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 60 minutes. The roasting process not only develops the flavor but also sterilizes the beans, making them safe for consumption. After roasting, the beans are cracked and winnowed to remove the outer shell, leaving behind the cocoa nibs. These nibs are then ground into a thick paste known as cocoa liquor or cocoa mass. Cocoa liquor is the primary ingredient for making chocolate, and it can be further processed into cocoa powder and cocoa butter. In factories, the cocoa liquor is mixed with other ingredients such as sugar, milk, and additional cocoa butter to make different types of chocolate. The mixture is then refined to achieve a smooth texture. This refining process involves passing the mixture through a series of rollers to reduce particle size. The next step is conching, where the chocolate mixture is continuously mixed and aerated to develop its flavor and smoothness. Conching can last anywhere from a few hours to several days, depending on the desired quality of the chocolate. The conching process helps to evaporate any remaining volatile acids, improving the flavor and aroma of the chocolate. Once conching is complete, the chocolate is tempered to ensure it has the right crystalline structure, giving it a glossy finish and a satisfying snap when broken. Tempering involves carefully controlling the temperature of the chocolate as it cools and solidifies. Proper tempering prevents the cocoa butter from forming unstable crystals, which can cause the chocolate to bloom and lose its shine. The final step is molding, where the tempered chocolate is poured into molds to form bars, blocks, or other shapes. The molds are then cooled and set after which the chocolate is demolded, packaged, and prepared for distribution. Packaging is an important aspect of chocolate production as it protects the chocolate from moisture, light, and odors, preserving its quality and shelf life. The final step is molding, where the tempered chocolate is poured into molds to form bars, blocks, or other shapes. The molds are then cooled and set, after which the chocolate is demolded, packaged, and prepared for distribution. Packaging is an important aspect of chocolate production as it protects the chocolate from moisture, light, and odors, preserving its quality and shelf life. In terms of chocolate exports, the market value soared to over $56 billion in 2023. The leading exporters of chocolate include Germany, Belgium, and Switzerland, renowned for their high-quality chocolate products. These countries export to major markets in North America, Europe, and Asia, meeting the ever-growing demand for chocolate. The rising popularity of premium and artisanal chocolate has also contributed to the increase in export values. From cocoa cultivation to processing, the journey of Cococo to chocolate showcases the dedication of farmers and producers. Understanding this process helps us appreciate chocolate and the efforts behind it. Cocoa production emphasizes fair trade and sustainable farming. We hope you enjoyed this journey. Stay tuned for more documentaries on agriculture and food. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And there you have it, my friends, the complete journey from cocoa fruit harvesting to chocolate production. Thank you for joining us on Cocoa Farm. Until next time, 